Trinity Harvest family. Welcome to Grace Fasting and Prayer Devotional. My name is Adrian Woods, and I have a word to share with you today about God's grace. So grab your Bible, and let's go to Hebrews, the 11th chapter, verses 8 through 12. And it reads, By faith, Abraham, when called to go to a place he would later receive as his inheritance, obeyed and went, even though he did not know where he was going. By faith, he made his home in the promised land like a stranger in a foreign country. He lived in tents, as did Isaac and Jacob, who were heirs, to, heirs with him of the same promise. For he was looking forward to the city with foundations, whose architect and builder is God. And by faith, even Sarah, who was a past childbearing age, was enabled to bear a child because she considered him faithful, whom had made the promise. And so from this one man, and he was as good as dead, came descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky and as countless as the sand on the seashore. Again, that's Hebrews, the 11th chapter, verses 8 through 12 from the NIV Bible. Now, isn't that a pretty picture? A picture of perfect faith where Abraham and Sarah did exactly as God instructed them and did everything perfectly and they were rewarded, they're counted as faithful for their actions. Think about this. That's how the story ended. And that's how it's written about them in the New Testament after Christ. But the reality is we have the advantage of the Old Testament and we get to see everything they went through and getting to that point where the promise was fulfilled. We get to see the promise that God made to Abraham where he told him he would be the father of many nations. Abraham understood the promise and he left, he did, by faith and doing everything that God had instructed him to do. However, there was a point in Abraham's life when he thought, well, maybe I need to help God out and preserve my own life. I don't want nobody trying to take me out because Sarah is looking so good. So you go on and tell them that you're my sister. So Abraham thought in order for God's will to be manifested, God needed his assistance. That's one of those times where we can think about Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, lean not to thine own understanding, but in all thy ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Luckily, they were able to get out of that one. And then here's Sarah's turn. She has a double doozy. First, she decides she's going to give Abraham her maid so that she could that way conceive a child by Abraham. And then that way, the promise that God made Abraham that Sarah would have a child would manifest. Well, mm, wrong answer again. Then Sarah goes another further because she hears the angel of the Lord speaking with Abraham and telling her that by this time next year, you will have a son. Sarah will be impregnant and she will have a son. This tickled her so much she laughed. Yeah, right, because she knew she was beyond bearing years. And it just for her seemed impossible. Think about how that, that shows you how with humanity, we have our thoughts, and the Bible says, good thing that God's thoughts are not our thoughts. God's grace still fell upon them, and they were able to, beyond their humanity, beyond their doubts, beyond everything they tried to do to make it happen their way, it happened God's way. And this is why this particular piece of text touches me so much, because you see how perfectly written that story is in Hebrews? Think about it. Because of God's grace and the sacrifice of Jesus Christ, our story is going to be written to where we're faithful as well. Because if the Bible says if we confess our sins, God is faithful and just to forgive us. So it won't be counted against me every little thing that I did wrong. It won't be counted against me when my humanity fell short because God's grace, again, is sufficient. So let's thank him for the grace that he's given us in the path that he's made through Jesus Christ so that when our story is written, it can be just as perfect as Abraham and Sarah's. Let us pray. 
Lord, how we thank you, God, for your grace. We thank you, God, that beyond humanity, God, you're still able to do exceedingly abundant above anything we could ask, think, or imagine, God. So take away self, God, and allow us to walk worthy through you, your grace, and your way that you would have us live. These blessings and all others we ask in Jesus' name, amen.